Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know I'm a huge fan of lightweight PLA. Today we're just going to be talking about lightweight PLA. Now, up until now, Color Fab has been the only lightweight that I've been using on all of my builds. Uh, but just recently, eSun released lightweight PLA. And so today I'm going to be testing out the eSun lightweight PLA, comparing it to the Color Fab lightweight PLA, and seeing if all of it works about the same and what the weight difference is between lightweight PLA from eSun and lightweight PLA from Color Fab. Lightweight PLA is amazing material. It makes airplanes like the Plain Print Eagle possible, it makes it so lightweight, makes it fly so, so good. Okay, the first thing I wanna do with you guys is show you guys in Kira line by line all the settings I use currently for my lightweight PLA. I printed out this entire notice uh, with lightweight PLA from ColorFab, and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the settings I use for Plain Print, ColorFab, lightweight PLA. Okay, so the first thing in quality, we got layer height 2.5. I do have the initial layer line width a little bit in, up to 110 for good bed adhesion. Uh, wall thickness, we just have one wall count. Uh, I have U specific uh, back and exposed seam for the Z seam. Most of Plain Prince airplanes all have this uh, notch on the back to allow the Z seam to go all the way down the back of the uh, part. So that way, along the bottom of the fuselage, you'll just have one continuous Z-seam all the way down the bottom and you won't have any other Z-seams anywhere else. So really nice feature with Plain Prince airplanes. All right, top and bottom layers. Uh, there's gonna be zero top and bottom layers because we ha do have it in surface mode, which I'll show you that in a second. Uh, infill, we have that zero. Material, uh, so we have 235 on the temperature and I have 55% flow rates. Uh, and 80% on the initial layer. Speed, I have it set at 100, and then I have wall speed 40, uh, travel speeds are 80, initial speed is 20, and we have two slow layers. Travel, we have enable retraction on, retracted layer change. For the Sapphire Pro, I have two millimeter retraction, uh, 0.5 on the prime with 30 millimeters per second. Cooling, I set, have that checked and at 20% on the fan. Supports, we have that off. Build plate adhesion, I have skirt. I set that to two lines on the skirt. Uh, no dual extrusion. Mesh fixes, uh, this will be uh, unit overlap volumes will be not checked and that is because it's in service mode. Uh, and then in special modes, we have it set in surface mode. We have this set to surface. And then uh, experimental, we have it set to slicing tolerance in, uh, middle. Okay, so that's for plain prints airplanes. The only difference with Eclipse and airplanes is we do need to change in special modes. We'll have to change this back to normal for Eclipsons airplanes. And then also with Eclipsons airplanes, they do design uh, some of the parts to be uh, top and bottom layers. So on the PDF that you file that you'll get with Eclipse in, it'll say, have you know three bottom layers and three top layers, or you know eight bottom layers and three top layers, and it will just tell you the configuration for how many top and how many bottom layers, uh, and then that's all the settings you need to mess with for the Eclipse and airplanes. Okay, so now that I've covered all the settings with you guys, I'm going to go ahead and load up a test part, and I'm going to print that out with ColorFab uh, PLA and just check the wall thickness. So once it's printed out, I'd put a caliper on there. I'll check it, it's 0.50 millimeters on the wall thickness. That's exactly what we want for this uh, lightweight PLA. For thin wall airplanes, it works really good. I've printed all my previous airplanes out with this uh, settings uh, and it works really good. Okay, now we're gonna load that exact same test part with eSun PLA on a different printer and we'll print that out and check what the wall thickness is. We have 0.55 millimeters, slightly more than the color fab. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and leave the exact same settings with the uh, color fab and the eSun PLA. Okay, now that I've confirmed that I can print the eSun PLA out with the exact same settings I used with the color fab PLA and get the same results for the wall thickness, and there's one more test I want to do with the eSun PLA. I want to load up the plain print test part and check the stringing with the eSun PLA. So as you can see inside of the test part, there's stringing all inside the test part. You cannot eliminate stringing with lightweight PLA no matter how much you minimize the retraction settings or if you have a direct drive printer or anything, you cannot eliminate the stringing for lightweight PLA. So in order to print lightweight PLA and have a nice quality come out, 
You do need to use the newer method of printing uh, that both Eclipse and, and Plain Print and 3D Lab Print have designed their airplanes now to have minimum movement of the extruder so that way there's no stringing inside the wing using lightweight PLA. So the new uh, Plain Print Notice has that and the Plain Print Eagle has that also where there's no stringing inside of all the lightweight PLA parts because of the minimum movement of the extruder. If you use the old method of printing where it has retracting and priming all over the place, it will have stringing all inside of the part if you use lightweight PLA. Okay, with those tests complete, we have one more thing to do and that is to check the weight. The most important part about lightweight PLA is the weight savings that you get compared to PLA. So we're gonna go ahead and load up these printers and print out three identical parts and check the weights between all of the parts. So the quality came out really good for all these parts. Uh, there is no stringing inside of the lightweight PLA parts because there is that minimum extrusion method uh, designed into these parts. Okay, now let's go ahead and throw them on the scale and see what we get. So for the PLA, uh, we have 49 grams. For the ColorFab lightweight PLA, we have 27 grams. And for the eSun lightweight PLA, we have 27 grams. Okay, so as you can see, there's a large difference between the PLA and the lightweight PLA. The ColorFab and the eSun PLA are no difference in the weight. Uh, they're both at 27 grams. Now, the only difference between the two materials, the eSun will come with a 1,000 gram spool. The ColorFab comes with a 750 gram uh, spool. So the only negative I would say about the eSun uh, lightweight PLA would be the color. Uh, it does have a, a off-white tinge to it. Uh, the lightweight PLA is still a little bit different than PLA. So like here is a white PLA and you can see the difference there. I mean, you can obviously tell that there's two different materials, but when you put it up to the eSun material, you can definitely see the difference. And so for uh, a build like I'm doing right now with the hybrid system for the uh, plain print Notos, uh, I don't want to use uh, this tinge of yellow so i'm going to go ahead and print the entire thing out of color fab lightweight pla uh you know for other builds if you're going to go ahead and paint the model uh you know that would be a good option uh you could just paint the whole thing white or you could paint it whatever color you want um, because decals are hard to get to stick to lightweight pla so if you're going to go ahead and put graphics on it you know painting it would be the best option Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Uh, I hope that was helpful to you guys. Make sure to check out my next video where I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build this entire airplane and take it out to fly. So we'll see you guys in the next build.